Are your RV doors leaking or just not sealing properly? If they are, I've got an easy and inexpensive fix. It doesn't take very much time. Stay tuned and I'll show you how. I was in the uh, side compartment of my truck camper here the other day and realized that there had been some water uh, leaking through this seal and uh, realized that the actual seal itself, the, the foam seal, was uh, torn in some places and uh, just kind of worn out. So wanted to get them replaced. So there's some seals that you can buy at uh, your art local RV store, you know, or Camping World or online, Amazon has them. Uh, that's specific for the uh, the RV compartment door. If you've got uh, some damaged seals or uh, if they're uh, just getting old and brittle, you can replace those. I uh, I didn't want to wait. Uh, we've got some rain coming, so I wanted to go ahead and get these seals replaced uh, since I've got a, a found a leak in the side compartment. So. I uh, went down to uh, Home Depot uh, or Lowe's. You can get the, the, these same seals at uh, you know any home improvement store. Uh, even like uh, True Value or Ace Hardware have these. Um, they're just uh, rubber seals with uh, an adhesive back, permanent adhesive back tape on the uh, on the back side of them. So it, it uh, should work just fine on this. I'm going to scrape off the old seals and uh, give them a shot on this one side compartment that I found was leaking. And if it works, I'm going to go ahead and just replace all the seals uh, on every compartment door on the truck camper. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, prepare the surface uh, where the seal goes. So get yourself a, a razor blade, a scraper of some sort, uh, even just a flathead screwdriver, and uh, you know scrape all this old seal off and uh, any of the uh, residue from the adhesive will have to come off. Uh, I found it, it easiest to do with a razor blade, um, just a, uh, a small uh, one and a half inch razor blade. Okay, so this is the uh, product that I purchased at Lowe's. It's the uh, Auto and Marine Rubber Weather Seal. It's uh, got a 10 year warranty on it. Uh, it comes in, it's two strips of um, uh, eight and a half feet so the you've got a total of 17 feet to work with pretty good match for the existing uh, weather stripping that's on these uh, compartment doors it's got a self-adhesive back on it and uh, it uh, remains flexible from negative 40 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit so it should uh, do the trick for what I'm trying to do on this uh, camper door on the uh, compartment door and just a couple of the tools that I've got, um, these uh, scrapers with the long blade. This is a three inch blade, three and a half inch blade, I think. Just the uh, standard uh, razor blade scraper. Um, and uh, just got one with a, a kind of a, a grip handle on it. And um, you can uh, replace the blades on these and keep uh, you know good, uh, sharp, brand new blade uh, as you go along, so. This, uh, this stuff all came in a kit that I purchased uh, a couple years ago uh, to do my all the caulking and stuff. So it's just a painter's kit and uh, it was only, you know, it was under $10, I think. So some of these areas here that might be bent from, you know, taking gear in and out of your compartment. Go ahead and get yourself uh, just a set of uh, pliers and... Um, Take your pliers, if I can do this one-handed, take your pliers and just pry on that door a little bit to straighten it out, straighten out the lip um, of the frame. And uh, if you get this uh, as, as straight as possible, it'll be uh, a little bit easier to get some of this foam rubber off. To uh, prep the surface, I'm just going to go along this uh, edge with the razor blade and just take all this uh, the foam rubber off and, uh, and then I'll go along with some uh, uh, maybe some mineral spirits or something to get the uh, existing um, residue, the adhesive residue off. But um, just try to get as much as you can off with the razor blade. It um, goes a little bit faster than you know trying to work with uh, a solvent.
Okay, so once you got most of the uh, adhesive off and all the foam off, um, I just went over this with uh, some 80 grit sandpaper just to make sure I got all the foam off. There's still a little bit of um, adhesive left on there where this where this black is, but I'm going to leave that on there. Um, this uh, the foam. Uh, the the new rubber seal has uh, an adhesive back and it'll actually give it something to uh, adhere to when I when I put the new seal on. All right, so once that's good and dry, just go over it with a towel and uh, just make sure that the the surface is completely dry and uh, doesn't have any foam bits on there. Uh, and you can get this uh, the adhesive started uh, sticking to the uh, to the camper door frame and just work your way around. All right, so there you go. All new seam, or all new uh, weather stripping all the way around. Everything fits nice and tight. And uh, I'll go ahead and spray it down with some water and make sure that the uh, leak is no longer. So while you're doing this uh, maintenance, you might want to go ahead and check your uh, latches, your keyed latch, and your uh, just your regular quick latch there uh, to make sure that everything's adjusted properly up here on this tab on both of them. Uh, sometimes they get bent out or um, also on this uh, aluminum lip right here and here where the tabs meet uh, and, and latch onto the frame that uh, those are you know straight and that it's not uh, bent out or bent in because that'll make all the difference in how this door is actually going to close and seal so make sure that you got, have all all those adjustments done and then um, you know close it up on both sides and do a water test all right so i've adjusted both of the uh, strike plate things and uh, the latch make sure that uh, the door is sealed all the way around i'm going to go ahead and pour some water uh, up top and uh, check for leaks so that worked nothing's getting through on the top it's all dry up here Nothing's getting through to the inside of the frame. I'm going to go ahead and finish doing uh, all the other seals here on these other compartment doors. With these um, rubber seals, it looks like I've got enough in each pack to do four uh, of these uh, med medium-sized doors. And uh, one more pack and I'll be able to do my um, uh, sewer compartment and uh, the, the, my tool compartment, which is my basement compartment, uh, as well as on the other side where the generator uh, compartment is uh, that I use for storage because I don't have an onboard generator. But should be able to get all those doors done with uh, four packs of, um, of this, uh, you know, this, this rubber seal here. So I'm going to go down and get two more packs and I can just get the whole camper done uh, all at once. So all the seals will be done. I'll know that they're uh, watertight and will be good for the rest of the uh, rainy season. My neighbors across the street are firing off their new guns that they got for Christmas, burning off some ammo, and uh, their little dog came running over shaking. <laughs> check, check her out. She's really sweet. Hi, Ruby. You okay? <laughs> you okay, Ruby? Oh, my goodness. It's all right. It's okay. Oh, oh my gosh. All right, well, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully this helped you out. If you've got any, uh, you know, rotten rubber seals or uh, compartments that are leaking water, um, should be able to replace those. Uh, went pretty quick, and uh, I think I got that one door done start to finish in about 10 minutes. So I should be able to get all the rest of the doors done, you know, in an hour, hour and a half, or something like that from start to finish. And um, the seals were only about uh, six, about six or seven dollars a pack. And uh, I'll end up using four packs. So for you know $24, $25, uh, I'll have all the seals done in all my compartments. 
and uh, can be, you know, just uh, uh, reassured that nothing's going to be leaking and uh, nothing's getting wet in there. So anyway, until uh, next time, we'll see you uh, on the next video. If you haven't uh, subscribed already, go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Also, uh, if you want to be notified when I release a new video, uh, click the bell notifier and uh, they'll send out a uh, notification when I upload new videos. So until then, we'll see you on the next one. Later. What are you doing, Ruby? Hi. What's going on? <laughs>